Phillips, who facilitates the Keep Moving Fitness Sundays on the Diggle Martin Highway, says the accident that took the life of slipstream cyclists Joe Brown and Joanna Banks was a tragedy, stressing the need for safe spaces for cyclists. Part of, part of the activities that people do in, in, in wanting to keep themselves fit, healthy and more productive, and that's really what is part, part of being more productive, um, we need to find a way to be able to add value to people's lives and without with, with, with a minimal amount of risk. And um, the, the program here and, and Diego Martin keep moving family and fitness Sundays. We, we aim to do that. He says the safe spaces should be created for all road users. It's not just cyclists, you know, and it's not just that one demographic. It's about people running, doing aerobics, doing anything that would be um, physically active. We have kids that come here, skateboard, um, they roller skate, they come, they walk their dogs and so on. It's, it's, it's a whole range, a whole, if you want to call it, ecosystem of, of, of health and wellness that has to be, um, you know, duplicated around, around the country. So uh, safety is a major aspect of people, women in particular, women, kids, having somewhere safe to be able to go and experience both um, community and something that's fun. With government planning to take legislation to Parliament to help our cyclists, he believes it's a step in the right direction, but a lot more is needed. There's always been some level of, of recognition with regards to cyclists on the road. I think what they're doing, it is, doing is having it more defined. But it's all going to come down to, to the people. It's all going to come down to the drivers on the road. It's all going to come down to whether or not how lack of good morning, good evening, how you excuse me, um, please, all of those things, just those basic common courtesies, courtesies then transfers into how somebody drives. I mean, it's, it's a lot more from a social perspective that has to be considered and not just the law. The Cycling Federation is also calling for better care on the roadways, asking motorists to be on the lookout for cyclists at all times. Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports.